Good morning, students. Hope you're all doing well. Today, we are going to revise or review the essay development, and we're going to discuss what is a case study essay as a new type of essay. Our objective for today is to understand the organization, the development, and the elements of a case study essay. In order to start with this objective, we are going to take some time to read the essay prompt that is in front of us. In the upcoming slides, we are going to analyze a sample essay in relation to the essay prompt that is in front of us. After analyzing the essay, we are going to come up with a conclusion of what is a case study essay and what are the important elements and the organizational tips that we need to keep in mind when we are asked to develop a case study essay. Let's start by analyzing the introduction of the sample essay. Take a few minutes to read the introduction before we analyze and comment on it. Let's start reading the introduction. If we read the first sentence, we see that the writer that defines what technology addiction is. If you continue reading the second and the third sentence from they till tendencies, we notice that the writer introduces the topic and the issue he wants to discuss related to technology addiction. He talks about technology addiction that can be passive, and he also talks about some reinforcing features that contribute to the promotion of addictive tendencies in the person. The writer ends the introduction by the last sentence, which is technology addictions are behavioral addictions, which can be accompanied by a set of symptoms such as mood modifications, intolerance, isolation, and social conflicts. The last statement of the introduction, as we have previously discussed in many different types of essays, is the thesis statement. We notice that in the thesis statement, the writer presented the topic, which is technology addiction, and the main or the controlling ideas of the essay, and the ideas is going to develop in the body paragraphs, which are related to the symptoms or the different symptoms of technology addiction. If we want to relate the thesis statement that we just discussed to the type of essay, which is case study, we notice that the thesis statement presents the main idea of the essay, which is related to the symptoms of technology addictions. Since the type of the essay we are discussing today is case study essay, this means we are going to choose a case or a specific person that represents or that uh, gives the symptoms of some technology addictions that we want to discuss. If we look at the first body paragraph, we notice that the writer chose a specific case of a person that is his cousin's friend, Gary, that is a representative of a computer addict. This means the writer is going to talk about this case in relation to the symptoms of technology addiction that he mentioned in the thesis statement of the introduction. So what does a writer do in the first body paragraph of a case study essay? As you can notice in the sample essay in front of you, the writer identifies the person, the social group of the subject of study. That is his cousin's friend, Gary. He gives some information about his age and his social status, etc. The writer also shows how the subject of the case who is Gary, is related to the essay's main topic or issue, which is related to technology addiction and the symptoms of this addiction. Moving on to the second body paragraph of a case study essay, we notice that the writer gives more details about the problem or the situation that the case he chose suffers from. So he gives some details about his severe behavioral problems and social problems. The writer might show that the case that he is talking about does something to deal with his problem or fails to address the problem by taking or not taking any serious steps in order to change the situation or the problem he is in. After presenting the problem and how the subject of study or the case that the writer is talking about dealt with the problem itself, the writer moves on to the third body paragraph, or as a writer, we need to move on to the third body paragraph 
in the case study essay in order to give the outcome of the experience. In this paragraph, the writer lets the reader know which option was taken and why the case is a good example on the issue that is discussed. The outcome of the problem that the case suffers from can be a solution or sometimes not necessarily a solution or a successful ending. It is just a presentation of the outcome or the result of the situation that was previously discussed in paragraph two or body paragraph two. As we know, the last paragraph of an essay is usually the concluding paragraph. The function of the concluding paragraph in a case study essay is to provide a conclusion that sums up the main issue of the essay, but not the case. The concluding paragraph, which is the last paragraph of the essay in a case study essay, shows how to deal with the problem that is presented previously in the first and the other body paragraphs. In the case of this sample essay or case study essay, the problem is technology addiction and the symptoms of technology addiction. Therefore, the conclusion here presents different ways to deal with this problem. After we have discussed and analyzed the sample case study essay regarding the organization and the content, the following is a summary of the guidelines of a case study essay to help you better understand this type of essay. Your assignment is to reread the sample essay that we have just analyzed in this tutorial and understand the guidelines of a case study essay to be able to develop an essay for the upcoming week. Thank you so much and hope to see you soon.